Once you understand how to create this beautiful left section of this website, let me create the registration form inside this right section. Now when you click on the login button, I'm going to display the login form and when you click on the registration button, I'm going to display the registration form. So let me show you how you can create the beautiful registration form. So I'm going to open my project and here I'm going to create a new file inside this import folder. So I'm going to create a new file inside this import folder. So I'm going to say here new file and then I'm going to specify the file name register form.jsx and inside this register form.jsx here I'm going to create a simple react functional component. So here I'm going to simply say react functional component and inside this div I'm going to create the registration form. So to this div I'm going to first specify class name and to this class name I'm going to specify call sm7. I'm going to specify 7 column space to this division type. Then I'm going to specify bg color and align cell center. So this class is going to center this form. Oops, I think I misspelled something in my login form. Let me open my login form and right here. I just misspelled this class name which is align self center. Let me save this file. As you can see, this will just center this login form vertically. Just after that, I'm going to just create this align self center class here as well inside my registration form. Just after that, inside this div, here I'm going to first create the form section. So I'm going to create a div with the form section class. We have this form section class inside the login form as well. So I'm using the same class inside my registration. So I can use the same styling of this login form inside my registration. So I'm going to specify here form section class and inside that I'm going to specify title class. And inside this title I'm going to specify h3 heading tag with the title create a new account. Just after that, just out of this div right down here I'm going to create a class called login inner form. As you know this is the registration form but because we are using the same styling of login form I'm using the class called login inner form. If you want you can specify here registration inner form and inside your login dot SCSS file you can just simply put here a comma to this login inner form and then you can specify here register inner form that's about you you can specify any method I'm going to just specify here login inner form to specify the same styling of login then inside it I'm going to create a form and I'm going to get rid of this action attribute and add a method here method is going to be the post method inside this form I'm going to add a division tag with a class form group with form box. Just after that inside this div I'm going to add the input tag of the type text then I'm going to specify here id which is going to be username then I'm going to specify here class name. Class name is going to be input text and then I'm going to specify here placeholder which is going to be username like this. Just after that just out of this input tag I'm going to add here an icon. So I'm going to add here i tag with the class name and I'm going to specify a class name here icon user. Let me save this file back to my app.js right here. And instead of login form, let me import the registration form. So just get it off this login form from here for now and add here registration form. Just copy it specify that here and here. Let me save this file. As you can see you are going to have your registration form here. So back to the register form. Just copy this division tag. Specify that just down here. Change this username and this placeholder. This time the placeholder is going to be email and the id is going to be email. I'm going to leave everything as it is and save the changes. You're going to have the email text box here. I'm going to change this class name of this icon and I'm going to specify here icon email. Save this file. You can notice I'm going to have the email icon here because I don't have the user class inside my CSS. That is why I don't have any icon to this username. I will add that after a few minutes. Just for now, let me just copy this div. Specify that down here and this time I'm going to specify id password. Do the same for this placeholder as well I'm going to specify here password just down here I'm going to change this email and call here lock icon like this 
when I save the changes, I'm gonna have this icon. Copy this div, paste it down here, and then specify here ID, which is going to be password check. And inside this placeholder, I'm gonna specify verify password. Then I'm gonna save this file. As you can see, I'm gonna have the username, email, password, and verify password text box. Just after this division tag right down here, I need a submit button. So I'm gonna create here a division tag with the class form group and inside that I'm gonna create a button and specify here text register and then I'm gonna specify some classes to this button. Class name is going to be btn and primary btn. Let me save this file. As you can see, I'm gonna have my button here inside my registration form. That's easy, right? Now let me add here icon to this username. So I'm gonna back to my login.scss and just down here, you can notice I have different icons here. Now I don't have here the user icon. So let me create that one. So I'm gonna specify here dot icon dot user. And I'm gonna call here a sudo selector call before. Just after that, I'm gonna copy this extend keyword, specify that here. And I'm going to copy this content and specify that here. And instead of this unique code, I'm going to change it to F007. This will just add the user icon inside my project. You can notice here. I have my user icon to this username text box. Once you understand how to create this beautiful registration form inside this project, in the next lecture, I'm going to add functionality to this login and to this registration button. So in the next lecture, we're gonna use the browser router module and add functionality to this form.